All right, I made a template for the be bead pattern. And uh, just a matter of getting this centered. This is a block of uh, dark blue beads that would be in the pattern. I'm trying to get them all the same size. So I'm using this. I'll be right back and continue. Time to play with some clay. Alright, I'm just uh, putting a different pattern on the uh, block area that uh, would be a different color just to give a different texture to the uh, bronze as well as to the uh, that will affect the final color of the bronze which in this case will be a rust patina I wanted to make a triangle tool uh, because I need triangles at the outer edge of the uh, squares. So I took a fondue stick and carved a, a triangle out of the end of it. And then I just have to get it lined up and press it like that. Now that's what I'm doing. It might be too big. I can't even see what the heck I'm doing. This light's horrible. Okay. I don't know if that's working at all. Alright, this is going to work out better. I'm just going to make the triangles with the sharp edge of this tool. That's a good idea, but it doesn't work with this clay because it's too stiff. Okay. All right, I put some uh, monster clay flattened out in through the uh, pasta maker the spaghetti maker part and uh since the wind is blowing from behind these uh little doodads hanging down from the center of the circles would be pressed up against the uh, robe which is perfect because they don't have to cast these separate which will cut down a lot on the cost but running them through the spaghetti maker part makes them all the same thickness, which works good for me. All I gotta do is keep them the same length, which is easy because I just have to bend them in half. Okay. Now what I'm doing is something that I do all the time. I try to make the clay like wax or in this case monster clay look like the clay that's under it. And the way to do that is to make, uh, to go to a local hardware store and have them mix some paint that matches the color of your clay. 
I took a sample of the clay in and uh, had them match the color. And that just takes down the confusion when I take a photograph of this to uh, try to sell some copies of this piece while it's still in clay. It doesn't affect the casting and it doesn't affect the uh, part that I sculpted. All right, I got the uh, beaded section of the blanket uh, finally done. If I'm not happy with this, uh, a couple of days from now, I'll redo the whole damn thing. But for now, I'll just live with it. I, I like it. I want it to look sculptured anyway. I don't want to look perfect. I want it to be sculptured. And it's certainly that. All right, I'm going to get busy on getting her forehead evened out. This side is just a little flatter. So it's just a matter side. of taking her hair away and uh, trying to round out the uh, forehead. It's funny, I'm right-handed when I write, but I do more of my work with my left hand when I'm sculpting. That's strange. Okay, I'm going to use my homemade latex tools Put her hairline back on. All right. I really like the way it's turned out back here. It does look a hundred times better with the uh, the detailing in that robe. I love the texturing. I'm going to mo uh, lighten that texturing just a little bit with uh, lighter fluid, but that's not for now. But uh, I'm really happy the way this is turning out. All right, everybody. Have a great night. I'll see you next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.